This video will walk you through the process of sending out a PayPal mass payment. The PayPal mass payment feature is a way for you to send payments to several different people at the same time even if the amounts being sent are different. A great example of when this might happen is if you have an affiliate program that you have to make payouts to all of your affiliates each month. Now if you have one or two affiliates, no biggie. Just send them their commissions as you normally would send someone their money through your PayPal account. If, however, you have 20, 30, 50, or even 100 affiliates, sending individual payments to them is going to be very time consuming to say the least. Now with the mass payment feature, you upload one text document or CSV document with all the affiliates info on it and fill in a couple of blanks on the PayPal mass payment page and send the payments on their way. So in about the same time that it would take you to send one affiliate their payment, you just sent all 50 or 100 affiliates their payment. Now that's the what and the why. Now let's look at the how. Now first off, in order for you to take advantage of the mass payment feature, you'll need to call a PayPal representative to have them activate your mass payment feature and as of August 2013, you're going to have to have one of the three business account types. Prior to August 2013 or thereabouts, you could do the same thing if you had the Premier account or one of the business accounts. Well, they've changed that to now you have to have one of the business accounts. So if you currently have a verified Premier account, then all you need to do is upgrade to the zero cost business account then call a PayPal rep and have them activate the mass payment feature for you. Now that we've got all of our ducks in a row, you come on over here after you've logged into your PayPal account, click on send money. Now, even if you've not yet contacted anybody at PayPal to have them activate your mass payment feature, you will have a link here as well. But if you click on this link and it's not been activated, then you're going to get this yellow box up here saying, eh, this feature is not enabled on your account or something like that. And then it's going to tell you to contact the PayPal representative. Now, as it says here, you can send up to 5,000 payments at once. And there are two ways to submit your mass payment. You can upload a payment file, and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating here because I have no idea on how to use their APIs. Now, if you are a coder or a developer and want to learn more about this, then you've got this link right here to learn more. And if you want to learn all the ins and outs on the mass payment feature you can go ahead and click on this link right here it says how to upload and then number one right here of course you can read all this stuff here but I did want to point out that if you click on this link to go to the PDF guide that this is no longer being maintained but if you click on this link here and then scroll down and then click on the HTML version of this guide this will take you to their developer site and I would go ahead and bookmark this if you're interested anyway, because it's here that you'll find all the updated and maintained information about mass payments. Okay, now that I've got the public service announcements out of the way, let's take a look at an example of the file that you have to upload, because there are certain requirements for that file. You can either be uploading a text document or a CSV or a comma separated values file, which is what you'll get if you use Microsoft Excel or its free equivalent the open office spread I think it is or open office spreadsheet or whatever that program is called but I'm going to be using the text document now if you do a text document then you'll have to hit the tab button on your computer to move from one column to the next let me give you an example here this is three of the potentially five columns you can have the first three are mandatory the fourth and the fifth column are totally optional and I've chosen not to have them included in this example but the first three columns are mandatory the first column is the payment recipients identifier and in this case they're all email addresses these are the PayPal email addresses of the recipients so naturally before you even get to this point you need to collect the PayPal email addresses of the recipients now you also have the option of going with the phone number that that recipient has on file with PayPal and yeah they all have to have a PayPal account or the PayPal customer ID the thing is though is that you have to have this same information on that particular file so if you have some of your recipients with the phone number and the others with the email addresses then you're gonna to have to have multiple payment files because they all have to be the same on each file likewise with the country currency code all of these have to be the same in this case, it's USD or US dollar. If you have some that, re that were receiving Canadian dollars or CAD, then those would have to be included on a separate payment file. And again, for all the details on that stuff, the whys and how comes, you can go to that one page that I was telling you about here. But that's the first and the third column. The second column, pretty important to the recipients, is the amount of money that you're sending them. And it has to be set this way. And depending upon the country that you're sending it to, it would either be decimal point for like US dollar, or if it's like going to Italy, then it would be a comma. Depending upon the country that you're sending it to, it would depend on the separator that you're going to be using here. 
Again, more details on that can be found on that one page I showed you. Now the fourth column is some kind of identifier if you wanted to use that. Like maybe you'd want to put in for a rebate or a commission or whatever reason you're sending this particular recipient that money. And then the fifth column is an individual personalized note to that recipient. Unlike this one here, this is a message that's going to all recipients. Likewise with the email subject line, this would be going to all of the recipient's email subject line. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload this. We're going with email address opposed to the phone number or PayPal customer ID. We're going to go with the email address because that's what we have on our file. And I'm just going to put test in here and test in here. And then I'm going to upload the file. Just click on this link and navigate to the location on your computer where you have that file stored. And then click on open and then click on review. You can see it's right there. And at this point you can review everything and this also breaks down the fees. Now the fees are 2% up to a maximum of $1.00 per recipient. So if this were say $10,000 instead of $5, then 2% of 10,000 obviously is going to be more than a buck, but a dollar is the maximum that I would be paying no matter how much is on there, but that's per recipient. So since all of mine were a nice round $5 figure, 2% of five bucks is 10 cents and there's six of them, thus the 60 cent fee. So the total cost to me is $30.60. Super simple. Then you can make any changes that you want at this point. And if you wanted to preview the email as they're going to be receiving it, then you've got that option right there. At this point, you just click on submit and the money is on its way. And that's how you can save loads of time by using the mass payment PayPal feature. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.